Okay, we have a very special award every year. We try to we try to do a spotlight award. Last year, we uh, spotlighted uh, Shirley Brown, who was fundamental in the development of softball with Spokane Metro Softball Association. She did all the scheduling and so forth. And the the Hank Copeland Spotlight Award is not necessarily an award given to a player. It is given to someone who demonstrates to the board all of the reasons that we are here. They support the game. They support uh, their team. They support the other team when they're on the field. They know everybody. They know their names. They do everything they can to basically just be at the ballpark and be a softball fan or a softball player. And this year we are especially honored, and I am especially honored. I did not know Corey at the time when I was playing for Ziggler's. Uh, that was bad. Uh, sorry, Tom. Uh, I played for Ziggler's, and Jack and Terry played for the Metros, but I remember seeing Corey at every game, and uh, he was just a wonderful, wonderful fan, and he brought joy to everyone at the ballpark, and we are especially honored tonight to give the Hank Copeland Spotlight Award to Corey Kentop. This is for you. This is your report. Thank you so much for coming to all the Wow. <laughs> Nance Kentop. I am honored to be Corey's mom and Jack's wife. Um, if you know athletes at all, you know that they have a tendency to be superstitious. Corey was born on Friday the 13th, so that was the start. We've had a wonderful, a wonderful, frightful, blessed life as a family. Corey, along with his big brother Michael, were nominated to run the Olympic torch in 2002 through downtown Spokane. That spring, that torch is still in our living room, and I've got to tell you, I tried cleaning the soot. I thought my son was going to kill me. What? Yeah. You don't clean it. It's, it's Olympic soot. I, I did not know. You know, a woman cleans. Um, that spring, Corey was nominated for Make-A-Wish. And he was honored to swim with trained orthopedic dolphins in Key Largo, Florida for a week. And it was phenomenal. He, he has brought us blessings that I, I cannot explain, as all children do. But with Corey, it's been a, a jagged sword. He went to public schools, and it was during that time that I got the nickname of the Grizzly Bear Mom. <laughs> and I still wear that tag proudly, because if you don't support someone that cannot support themselves or speak for themselves, no one else will. And I found that out the hard way. Corey has been an ambassador to various, various uh, uh, causes. 
we had Corey's softball league during the summers. And he helped me and some dedicated people create a day program for special needs adults. Unfortunately, it left when COVID came. We lost our funding, but we will be back. Um, but in his formative years, when Corey was just starting out his, his journey, we were surrounded by a softball family like no other. He was in the NICU for over three months. He had three major surgeries that they said he wouldn't make it through. He wasn't supposed to live past the age of five. He didn't walk very well, so we had a red radio, red, the, the radio flyer wagons, and we would put him in the wagon with all the juice and all the pop and a little bit of beer for mother, and uh, we would go to most of the softball games. Franklin Park was, was our home. Uh, for many years, Corey wasn't treated any differently by the people that surrounded us. And all of the kids on our team learned how to love, how to be patient, and how to accept those that might be different from them. And believe me, that lesson came from him. In those years, we all learned as a team and a family what it meant to be strong. I have to flip this over. What life gives, gives us as gifts in order to grow and be as positive as possible. And Corey taught us how all to laugh and how to love unconditionally. I'd like to thank Marv Richardson for nominating Corey for this wonderful award. And the most remarkable individual award, which Corey, in my opinion, certainly is. Oh, good, he's signing the entire thing. If you are, if you are lucky enough to be close to a special needs child or an adult, Please stop and listen. Not a lot of people do. Watch patiently. Be quiet. And let them show you how to be a better person. Be quiet. Be quiet. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just a couple more quick.